Hello and welcome to this quick 3ds Max tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create a high poly bullet inside of 3ds Max um, using a spline and a lathe modifier so as you can see here we've got the um, blueprint set up so that um, we know what spline we're going to create you can do this uh, totally from your imagination so you can create whatever shape bullet you want but uh, for the example I'm just going to trace this bullet shape and uh, apply the modifier so I'm going to create a line and I'm going to do it in the front viewport and I'm just going to zoom in just so that I can see the whole of the bullet Okay, and I'm just going to start off by creating a very rough shape of the outlined bullet Okay, and then now I'm going to go to the modifier tab and just select the vertices and adjust these accordingly. So don't worry about the um, the end ones being too close to the actual um, center of the bullet. Uh, you can change this um, later on, even after you've applied the effect uh, the modifier to make the bullet shape. So I'm just going to adjust these so that they are as close to the shape of the bullet as possible okay so at the moment this is um, the very basic outline and then once you've done that, um, select your line object and then in the drop down menu choose lathe. So where are we lathe? There we go. And then as you'll you'll see it'll uh not put it to how it uh supposed to be. Um I'm just gonna hide all now. Hide unselected. So as you can see that's not a bullet shape. Um click the plus sign here to bring the axis up select the axis and then you can move it along change the thickness of it so I'm just going to unhide all come into this viewport and then it, you can see it sort of silhouettes the bullet in this instance and I'm just going to move the axis so that it covers it up ok so once that's done uh, again and selected and as you can see it's black so I'm going to flip the normals and then it'll have the standard material applied silver and as you can see it is pretty much the uh, shape of the bullet in the picture so the uh, axis can be done away with and then you can weld the cores in cap both the start and the end and then what you're going to do is right click um, collapse to click yes be an editable mesh so you can then change it to editable poly um, whichever your preference is and at the moment we need to just turn on edge faces so at the moment you can see that uh, here these are not it's not being capped so it's going to choose border cap and then same for the bottom border cap ok then what you can do is uh, change to vertex mode with those ones selected um, bring up the weld function and just weld that to a single vertex I'm going to do that same for this top one make sure you haven't got um, one selected you've only got these selected here now uh, you could just turn ignore back facing off but forgot to so again uh, I'm just going to hit weld so right there it doesn't look um, that high poly so what we're going to do is uh, you can 
apply a mesh move, which will help smoothen it out. Edge faces. Um, but that doesn't really look much like a bullet. It's a bit too soft in areas. So I'm just going to get rid of the mesh move for now. And what I'm going to do is any prominent edges, such as um, here, uh, these two lines that go around here, I personally think that shouldn't be as. Um, shouldn't slant inwards. What it should be is like this. Like that. So it's a bit more. Uh, bit more square, bit more sharp of an edge and then what you can do is select these, loop them and chamfer and drop the values down a little bit maybe two connected edges hit tick and then now if we apply a mesh smooth you can see it re retains that shape of edge faces it retains that hard shape that we wanted whilst making it smooth and you can see here tip of the bullet smooth and you do the same for the bottom so that is how you create a high poly bullet with inside a 3ds max